Hello, friends, and welcome to Hokkaido, Japan. In this video, I'm visiting one of my favorite places for winter photography in Hokkaido. Japan's most northerly city, Wakanai. You've probably never heard of Wakanai. Neither had I until I saw some beautiful photos of these fish drying racks by landscape photographer Michael Kenner. But there's more to Wakanai than fish drying racks. That's why this is my fourth visit here. Good morning and welcome to Wakanai, Japan. I don't have any fixed plans for today. I'm going to be driving down the coast and as usual, just trying to find somewhere to park and then exploring um, that area close to the car park. It's the only way you can do it. You can see the snow clearing happening there and it's constant. Yesterday I tried to do uh, long exposure photographs, but it was way too windy. But today it is perfectly still. It is just a beautiful day. So I've set up the tripod and I'm doing four second exposures on the breakwaters and I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out. So I'm not using a remote shutter. I'm just using a two second delay on the timer which seems to work pretty well. I wanted to park here yesterday, but there was too much snow clearing going on. Uh, but today it's all done because there hasn't been any overnight snow to speak of. And I was able to park here. And I parked here for the breakwaters. Uh, and I've got some nice shots of them, and, but the bonus has been these guys here, the seaweed collectors. To be more precise, they are harvesting kombu, which is big business here in Wakanai. I drive further up the coast and decide to see if I can find a spot to get some abstract minimalist photos with the drone. Wakanai's once thriving herring fishing industry collapsed in the 1950s. And just like most Japanese rural cities, Wakanai is facing a declining population. It's not uncommon to see old buildings here, some full of character and others in various states of disrepair. Normally for street photography, you would include people and I like including people in my street photography. However, walking around in Wakanai in winter, there are not many people to be found. So I'm concentrating more on the unique older buildings. I do like the look of this building. I think I can do something with that. What a great old building. So 
certainly full of character. These uh, snow ramps are handy. This is where they uh, push all the excess snow into a little mountain and wait for it to melt. But it means it's a good vantage point for me. Well, the way I work is to have a, a loose schedule of places that I want to go to, but I'm always open to stopping wherever I think there may be an opportunity. And this car park today is a perfect example of that. It wasn't uh, cleared yesterday, so I thought I'll check it out today. And I've been here for an hour and a half taking photos and using the drone. I got a bit disoriented. Uh, I couldn't see the entrance to the car park and I started going in the other direction. Hopefully this is the right car park. What a cute smiley face. This small side road has been cleared of snow almost all the way down to the coast, allowing the mail to be delivered. It also means that I can walk down there to see if I can find a photo. Just saw this road and I'm following it. Not sure what's gonna be at the end of it. But I'm already seeing something. There's something here. Definitely worth the walk. Normally when I'm driving along and I see something that I want to photograph, there's nowhere to park to photograph it. So I was surprised and delighted when I went past this amazing structure and right next to it, a huge parking lot. Having translated the sign on this building, I can remove some of the mystery. This was, or is, an archery field. Wherever I see an interesting old building, I try to find the nearest place where I can park. In this case, I was in for a surprise. Apart from getting a shot of the nearby building, this cute local came out to greet me. This is not common. In all my trips to Hokkaido, I have never been anywhere near this close to a fox. And this one looks well fed and not particularly bothered by humans. You're gonna have a snooze right there. I drove past this hotel and noticed there had been no snow clearing around it. I wondered whether it was still in use. This time I wasn't quite as lucky. I saw this gem, so I drove past, and I had to park the way down the road, and then walk back. Oh my God. Perhaps it's seasonal, perhaps it shuts down during winter. I don't know. In Hotel New Elm since 1970.
So what story does this building have to tell? The only information I could find about the Hotel New Elm was on the website Wikimapio. Apparently, it was a love hotel that has closed down. All of these buildings have a story to tell. And the fact that you don't quite know exactly what the story is makes the photos all the more interesting to me. Each person that looks at these photos can have their own interpretation. Well, I guess you could call this photography lucky dip photography because it's not like a national park where you know exactly what you're going to get. You go to the certain places and you take those photos. Here in Wakanai, I just go out, look for places to park, and what you've seen in this video is what I saw and my response to it. Who knew that I would see a fox? And how cute was that fox? Thank you for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the adventure. Um, and if you like what you saw, please have a look at my other videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see the new videos. See you in the next one. I wanted to finish this video by mentioning the amazing hotel where we stayed. It is the tallest building in Wakanai and seems very much out of place with the character of the area. With some support from the government, it was an aspirational build in the 1990s to boost tourism to this area. It has large, well-maintained period rooms with great views and an excellent breakfast. And in winter, it's pretty reasonably priced. I've just changed the battery in the drone and just a little tip, I keep all my batteries in an inside pocket to keep them warm. They'll just go flat very quickly if you don't. Uh, and now it's found the satellites and we're ready for takeoff.